Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great. Today I have something mechanical, not electronics, nothing in there. Although I did play with the, with the idea. Um, what this is, you might know, you might not. This is a fractal, 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 hmm. fractal wise. And this wise is used to hold irregular shapes. And uh, this is my take on it that I did. I did. You can find plants. I will link them uh, where you can 3D print every piece of it, including these parts, except the um, rails and the ball screw. Well, it's not ball screw, but it's a T-nut screw. I don't know what how you call those. And um, I do, did not want to 3D print all of it. I wanted to have it a bit more sturdier. And uh, this is it. This is very sturdy. These are 30 by 30 millimeter um, aluminum profiles. These are 8 millimeter uh, steel rods. And this is also 8 millimeter. I think they're called Acme thread. Not sure. Could be wrong. Um, and uh, anyway, I did find some plants, well, STL files, and I did add them to my preferences. So I changed them a bit. And um, let me show you in detail if you like to watch further on. Okay, I see you in a bit. Okay, so this wise was actually designed the bigger piece this one here was designed like that and this was um, supposed to use maybe you know those work tables that you have like the foldable ones you unfold them and then you have two wood plates and you can squeeze them together and they have like these plastic um, jaws that you can use to hold your workpiece and this fracture wise was supposed to use with a dowel pin 3d printed dowel pin to use that in that hole and then to put something in there and hold it and um, but i don't use that work table i don't even have room for that so i wanted something for the table so i redesigned this part and this part is just flat on the back round but this time flat this way so I redesigned it to be like I think I can get out here uh, okay I redesigned it to have a groove and then to have another piece that holds in the groove this piece is designed by me to hold it in here and then have it on a regular wise, well, regular. So anyway, I did redesign that. And I made these parts without an end stop. The reason I thought is, so I can just slide this in and out. Hard to do from, if you're not seeing it right. <laughs> oh, that's what you get if you're doing videos. Doesn't always work the way you want. Oh, come on, give me a break. So, as you see, it slides in there. And these, jo these jaws have an end stop so they can not fall out, including the small ones. But this is hardly going to fall out by itself. So I made it like that because now I can make other jaws, the other designs that are straight on the, on the front and hold to hold straight pieces. What I also did that had, uh, that were straight, I mean, the front of that holder was straight and I made these 45 or 90 deg degree grooves to be able to hold round material 
so if you have that flat and you want to have to hold wrong material it's just gonna slide off but with these grooves inside there it will hold so that was another change that I did and um, as I said I designed this with metal aluminium profiles in mind using these uh, shaft holders and this is the not uh, the screw holder not screw holder but you know what I mean and uh, this is also a design that I found and I like it because you can fast rotate it or I go to it like that and then put some pressure on there to hold it so and then I added also these uh, 90 degree brackets to be able to either screw it down or just use clamps and clamp it down on a table which works like that so that was that and I will show you of course the, how it does hold irregular shapes but I have to switch the camera angle for that so anyway um, this is what it and uh, this part here that uses it's not just square it has these cutouts for these bearings and it has two bearings on each side so it's very stable it does doesn't have any play and that's how it works and this is the cutout for the t-nut t-nut yeah I think no no t-nut for the screw nut I think it is so anyway that was that and then my initial plan was to hold this jaw by this one hole here and have it like that but then I figured um, I make it different so anyway that's what I did so on the next part you will see how it has actually does work so till in a bit okay so here we are from the top excuse the angle of the phone but the holder is actually too short to make it high enough so anyway uh, another one particular uh, design element that I liked on this is it's a two-piece design that you can print on your 3d printer in this orientation like this flat on the orient on the printer bed and have this lip here print easily and then if you you have two pieces they're actually the same on here only that uh, mounting holes are different for for this piece over here and once you printed them you do screw them together like this and you have this beautiful uh, solid lip that the whole thing runs in so if I slide this in here you see how it does in there and here you can see it on the two color as well and oh, also here the cutout that I did to hold uh, round shapes or really thin shapes without them sliding up or down <clears throat> so this is very nice design there is another design out there which uses it's a one piece design and it, it uses this orientation when it prints but as you can imagine having it print from the top in that direction in free air so to speak uh, well the lip is it's not as big it's not as stable as this one and uh, I did not like that so this is very very easy to print without problems and uh, yeah what I did also is put my name in there but I made it as a well it goes deep inside there so and then I used the red nail polish that's what I found and uh, put my name on there it's not perfect but it does its job next time I would probably erase the lettering and then paint the top of it so and now we finally come to the part let me slide this in like 
that. And now, for example, you want to hold this part down. If you have a straight vise, straight vise, 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 yeah. You would have very limited contact uh, area to hold this and then it would probably turn like that. So on here, and you don't have to adjust the, the jaws. You can just turn it. Well, I don't have the edge from the tail right now, but you see it goes. And then you can clamp it down. You can also center it a little more if you like. You can clamp it down and it's absolutely stable. I mean, you can... This thing does weak a little bit, uh, wait a little bit. So it is very, very stable in there. It's not going anywhere. And now you see that you have a much larger contact area to hold this piece in there. And it's not gonna turn on you. There is no way. Uh, on most videos they use a banana to show how it's uh, holding the banana. But uh, it's winter time. I don't have any bananas here. So anyway, this is my take on a fracture wise. As I said, I can just turn these out and replace them with straight jaws if I like to, or <clears throat> I don't know any any other shape. Although these parts really do their job in holding in any irregular shape. Uh, well, I didn't. Uh, it also not affiliated with them, but it would hold <laughs> straight shapes as well. Now this I'm not going to squeeze that much because it's chocolate, but you see it holds it in there, so it, you can use it on straight pieces as well. Do I have any other regular shape? No. Let's try this to hold the jaw. I have no on this. Let's see what's happened. <laughs> Looks like half moons, doesn't it? And this is also very, very solid. It's not gonna go anywhere. And if you have this screw to your table or hold down on your table, it clamps like that. Of course, you can screw it down. About, but I'm throwing some German words. Hold it like that. It's not gonna go anywhere, my whole table is shaking. So, uh, if you're interested, I will upload my versions of the jaws. Um, jaw, yeah, a jaw, I think. And I will upload these pieces as well. Um, they hold together with two, three screws. The smaller ones, here, here, and here. And the two big screws are, and then I'll turn it around, which are, uh, oh man, I forgot the name of those. Um, anyway, you know those screws, I can show you, hold on a second, I'll show you. What do you call these? Inbus, yeah, our in English well anyway and these go in there with the head fully immersed immersed immersion I don't mind it anyway so obviously longer to be able to screw it down there and I mean you don't have to use aluminum profiles you can just print something and use that to hold the rails and the screw nut not screw screw nut anyway so this is it and as i said i will upload my versions on the files and then put a link into the description and if you like you can download it and print it yourself um anyway thanks for watching and uh also, thank you to my supporters, be it via Banggood affiliate link or my still five Patreons that I have 
or you can buy me a cup of coffee which nobody did through paypal so anyway thanks for watching and take care everybody